Hi friends, Miss Carrie here from the West Haven Public Library. Are you ready for story time? Great. So before we begin, let's start with our clap and sing hello song. And the first thing we're going to do is clap. And it goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. And we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. And we stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Yay! Okay, my friends, let's get ready for our first story. So you can sit crisscross applesauce if you'd like on the floor, or you can sit in a comfy chair or a comfy couch, anywhere where you can hear a good story, and we'll begin. So the first story I have for you today is a special flannel board story, and it's based on the mitten written by Jan Brett. And in this story, Nikki gets a brand new pair of snow white mittens. And then when he goes outside to play, he loses one of those mittens. And then some animals come across his mitten. So we'll have to see what happens with the snow white mitten. Once there was a boy named Nikki who asked his grandmother, whom he called Baba, to make him a pair of snow white mittens. Baba made the mittens, but she told him, be very, very careful. If you drop one in the snow, you will never find it. Baba also told Nikki, when you return home from playing in the snow, first I will check and see if you are safe and sound. Then I will check and see if you have your snow white mittens. Nikki promised that he would and went out to play in the snow. But shortly after that, Nikki dropped one of his mittens and it was left behind in the snow. Shortly after that, an animal came along. It was a mole. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the mole crawled into the mitten. Very soon after that, a second animal came along and it was a snowshoe rabbit. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the rabbit hopped into the mitten. Now the mole did not think there was enough room for both of them, but he saw the rabbit's big feet and he let him inside. Soon after that, a third animal came along and it was a hedgehog. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the hedgehog crawled into the mitten. Now the mole and the rabbit did not think there was enough room for all of them to fit into the mitten, but they saw the hedgehog's bristles and they let him inside. Soon after that, a fourth animal came along and it was an owl. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the owl flew into the mitten. The mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog did not think there was enough room for all of them to fit inside, but they saw the owl's sharp claws and they let him in. Well, very soon after that, a fifth animal came along and it was a badger. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the badger crawled into the mitten. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl did not think there was enough room for all of them to fit in the mitten, but they saw the badger's jiggers and they let him in.
The five animals were cozy and warm inside the mitten, and it began to snow outside. And shortly after that, a sixth animal came along, and it was a fox. The fox saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm, and it was cold outside. So the fox crawled right inside the mitten. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger did not think there was enough room for all of them inside the mitten. But they saw the fox's sharp teeth, and they let him inside. Very soon after that, a seventh animal came along, and it was a great big bear. He saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm inside, and it was cold outside. So the bear squeezed into the mitten. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, the badger, and the fox did not think there was enough room for all of them inside the mitten. But who argues with a bear? So they let him inside. At this point, the mitten had swelled and stretched and pulled and bulged many times its size. But Baba's knitting had held fast. Now let's see how many animals are inside the mitten. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if an eighth animal would fit inside the mitten. What do you think? Very soon after that, an eighth animal came along and it was a little meadow mouse. She saw the mitten and thought that it looked cozy and warm and it was cold outside. So the little meadow mouse squeezed inside the mitten and found the last available spot right on top of the bear's nose. The bear felt something funny on his nose. It began to itch. The mouse's whiskers were making his nose itch, and this caused him to sneeze. The bear gave out a big, big sneeze. Ha, ha, choo! As the bear sneezed, all of the animals blew out of the mitten. and the mitten flew away in the sky. Just then, Nikki was walking home and he saw the mitten flying in the sky. The mitten landed in the snow right next to him and he put it on and went back home. When he returned home, Baba was very happy to see him. She was very happy to see that he was safe and sound. And she was very happy to see that he had both of his snow white mittens. The end. I'm sure Nikki and Baba were probably wondering how the mitten got so big. They'll probably never know that eight animals were cozy and warm inside the mitten. Let's sing a song. How about we sing a song about a snowman? This song is called Once There Was a Snowman and it goes like this. Once there was a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. Once there was a snowman, tall, tall, tall. In the sun he melted, he melted, he melted. In the sun he melted, small, small, small. But once there was a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. Once there was a snowman, tall, tall, tall. In the sun he melted, he melted, he melted. In the sun he melted, small, small, small. Yay! 
Okay, my friends, it's time for our second story. So you can sit crisscross applesauce if you'd like, or you can just find a nice comfy seat where you can hear a good story. So our story today is about Badger, and Badger loves the snow, and he's just been waiting for the first snowstorm, and he doesn't think it's ever going to happen. And the name of the story is Waiting for Snow. It's written by Marsha Diane Arnold, and I hope you enjoy it. Hedgehog found Badger staring at the sky. What are you doing, Badger? Waiting for snow. It's winter and I haven't seen one snowflake. It will snow in snow's time, said Hedgehog. All we have to do is wait. I'm tired of waiting, said Badger. He dragged pots and pans and spoons from his house. Wake up, Sky! It's time to snow! Rabbit, Vole, and Possum came flying. Snow didn't. What are you doing, Badger? asked Rabbit. He's trying to make it snow, explained Hedgehog. Let's throw pebbles at the sky, said Rabbit. The pebbles will punch holes in the clouds so the snow can fall through. Pebbles rained down. Snow didn't. It will never snow, groaned Badger. When it's spring, crocus bulbs always bloom, said Hedgehog, though sometimes they are late. My granny says a snow dance will bring snow, said Vol. But it has to be a special dance, danced with good friends. They stomped and rocked. They bopped and boogied. They whirled and swirled. It was a special dance, grumped Badger, but it didn't bring snow. The sun comes back every day, said Hedgehog, and the stars every night. I know one more thing to try, said Possum. Tonight, wear your pajamas backwards. In the morning, we'll have snow. This always works for possums. That night, Badger put on his pajamas backwards. In the morning, he hurried outside. Snow, Badger cheered. Sugar, Badger frowned. It wasn't snowing this morning, said Hedgehog, so we made our own. Badger plopped on his porch and moaned, Sugar is not snow. Crocuses always bloom in spring. The sun rises every morning. Stars shine every night, said Hedgehog. Sometimes they come late and sometimes early, but they always come in their time. The friends sat beside Badger and waited. And waited. And waited. Until it was time and all the friends enjoyed playing in the snow and made a snowman together. The end. Let's sing another song. This song is about a snowflake and it's called Snowflake, Snowflake, Turn Around and it goes like this. Snowflake, Snowflake, Turn Around. Snowflake, Snowflake, Touch the Ground. Snowflake, snowflake on my nose. Snowflake, snowflake on my toes. Snowflake, snowflake in the air. Snowflake, snowflake everywhere. Snowflakes are everywhere. Yay! Good job. 
I hope you enjoyed our winter stories and songs as much as I did today. But now it's time to get ready for egg shaker time. So if you have an egg shaker, you can grab it and we'll begin. It's egg shaker time, yay! Okay, my friends, if you have an egg shaker, you can use it for our songs. Or if you have a little bell or another little toy that makes a shaky noise, you can do that too. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just use your imagination. And we're going to start today with a brand new song. This is called, If You're Happy and You Know It. And it goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a tap. If you're happy and you know it, do a three, shake, shake, clap, clap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, do a three, shake, shake, clap, clap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a three, shake, shake, clap, clap. Tap, tap, yay, good job. Let's try Shake Your Shakers Up. And it goes like this. Shake your shakers up, and shake your shakers down. Dance your little shakers all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders, and dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees. Then tuck them into bed. Very nice. So we have time for one more shaker song. How about we make a milkshake? So hold your shaker in one hand and then hold your glass of nice ice cold milk in the other hand and we'll make a milkshake. First you take some milk, pour the milk. Then you take some cream, Pour the cream, stir it round and round, shake it and you'll see. Ready, shake, milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Yay! Okay, friends, let's put our shakers away and get your scarves out. It's time for scarf songs. It's scarf time, yay! Okay, friends, if you have a scarf, you can use it, or you can use a little handkerchief or a little blanket. And if you don't have a scarf or a blanket, that's fine. You can just use your imagination today. So the first song we're going to start with is Dance Like Snowflakes, and it goes like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes, everywhere, everywhere, yay! How about we try wind a wind? Can you wave your scarf again in the air and pretend that it's blowing in the wind, just like the mitten? All right, let's try it. Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say. I am blowing the scarf away. Can you hide your scarf? Did you hide your scarf? Who found their scarf? Did you find your scarf? I found my scarf. Very good. Okay, we have time for one more scarf rhyme. So let's take our scarves and scrunch them up and we'll hide them in our hands and we'll get nice and quiet and still for Jack in the Box. And remember, Jack only pops out 
if it's nice and quiet and still. So let's get ready. Okay, you ready? Okay. Little Jack in the box sitting very still. Will he pop out? Yes, he will. He popped out very good. Should we try that one more time? Okay, let's take our scarves and scrunch them up. Hide them in your hands and get nice and quiet and still. Remember, very, very quiet. And we'll see if Jack pops out. Little Jack in the box sitting very still. Will he pop out? Yes, he will. Very good. He popped out twice today. I don't know. You've been doing a really good job. You must be very quiet. Good job. <laughs> okay, my friends, that's all the time we have for story time today. I hope that you're all doing very well. I wish you a very happy new year. And I hope I get to see you very soon. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>